everyone welcome back to my channel today i am making a delicious healthy gut healing homemade chicken noodle soup we're going to be making the chicken broth from scratch which is so good for your gut health um, it's something that i like to make several times during the winter it's just so warm and delicious and it makes you feel so good especially if you get sick because there's so many vitamins and nutrients in it so let's get started okay i have my whole organic chicken right here um, I'm just going to put it inside of my crock pot and fill um, a little bit over my chicken. It all depends on how big your crock pot size is, but you just want to have a little bit um, extra water. So I don't want to cross contaminate. So I'm going to put this in here real quick, fill it up, and I'll show you guys how it looks. So it's kind of hard to tell on the black, but I just covered the chicken. It's a lot of um, broth, but I put it on low. And normally I never time how long it takes, but I just wait until it starts falling apart and i just put it on at 11.03 so i'll let you guys know how many hours it takes and now i'm going to chop up some carrots and onion uh, normally i throw in celery but i don't have any right now i have to go grab some at the grocery store for the actual soup but you can you don't even really need to add carrots and onions and celery it just gives the broth more of a flavor I have one whole yellow onion, three carrots, just rough chopped the onions. I'm gonna throw them all in here. And the carrots I don't even peel because you don't need to. I personally like it for the fiber. Not that you're gonna be getting the fiber from this because you're not eating it. But um, just rinse them really well. And now I'm going to let that sit for the next couple hours. So it is now 6.31. Um, the Chicken has been cooking for about seven and a half hours. It's like an all day thing. But um, if you go to work, obviously, you can leave it there all day. So that's a plus. Now I'm just going to um, chop up one onion, three things of celery, five cloves of garlic. I like a lot of garlic, it's really good for you. I would say three carrots are enough, but I have um, three little tiny ones, so that's equivalent. And I'm using my chopper from Amazon to chop everything up. This is a lifesaver. If you've been watching my videos, you know that I always use this. So I'm going to chop these up real quickly. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to lift this out. I have a bowl, and I, a huge bowl, and then I put my strainer on top, and I'm going to strain on liquid. And then the chicken's gonna be on top. Stop crying. She wants, she smells a delicious soup and she wants it. Um, then I'm going to shred the chicken, but um, yeah, I'm going to transfer that over now. So I have a huge pot that I like to cook my soups in. I just added two tablespoons of oil and now I'm taking my pre-chopped veggies that I just chopped up. I'm going to fry them until they become translucent. So about five minutes. So your um, meat, the way you know you cooked it long enough is if it just falls right, oops, drop with these. If it falls right apart, like you could, you're supposed to be able to take forks and it just glides right apart. Um, make sure you get rid of the skin. You don't want the skin in there. I don't, I'm really picky about my chicken. I don't like any dark brown pieces. Get all your bones out. Chicken bones are very sharp, so you don't want to get that in there either. But just keep shredding. This takes literally a couple minutes just because it's so soft. I'm just letting my veggies fry up. So here is my shredded up chicken. My veggies are um, translucent, so I'm going to add this chicken right into there. Let's see if I can do this. It's about to be a little hard. And obviously, um, I don't measure how much chicken I put. I just put, I got a whole chicken, I'm gonna use it all. Obviously I'm not gonna let it go to waste. But if you're making it without the whole chicken, you're using a chicken breast. I think about three pieces of chicken breast. Two, if they're big, two, if they're small, three. So I'm gonna fry that up for a second there. And then I'm going to add my broth that I had strained into it. Now that I 
added my broth. I feel like that was the perfect amount of soup liquid. If you need more, just add more chicken broth. Um, just like store-bought or water, whatever you want. And my soup is now at a boil, so I'm going to put it on just like the single small burner, bring the temp down, and I am adding four cups of egg noodles. So I'm just gonna add that. I thought that was a perfect amount for the amount of soup that I have. So I'm just gonna let that boil for a little bit. I don't like um, when my noodles are super soft and they mush. So as soon as my noodles are cooked, I'm gonna take the soup off of the heat. But now we're going to season. So I always find um, giving exact measurements for soup very hard because it obviously depends on how much liquid you have and you have to keep adding and stuff like that. So what I'm going to start off with is a tablespoon of sea salt, um, black pepper. Um, I like a little bit of spice in my soup. So I'm going to add, where to go? red um, pepper flakes then I'm going to add onion powder um, where, are we? where is it okay so the secret ingredient that sounds really weird but it's curry powder this transforms your soup I learned this from my grandma she puts curry powder on everything and this is normally something I'd be like really scared to try but it literally elevates your chicken noodle soup Give it a, if you like you feel weird to make a whole pot of soup with it just add a little bit to your bowl and then you can see how good it really is also some garlic powder so we're just going to start off with those and then we can keep adding to see what we're missing Also going to add a little bit of parsley because oh my god that almost fell in my soup. Um, parsley obviously is universal for so many things, so I'm gonna add some of that. My soup is done um, after about 20 minutes of boiling the noodles. Um, so like I said, just adjust your seasonings. It's very hard to give exact. Um, measurements for seasonings just keep tasting it till you get it right but anyways I hope you guys enjoy this delicious um, gut healing chicken noodle soup recipe this is seriously so good for you guys I really hope you enjoy it and if you um, try it please let me know thank you so much for watching do not forget to subscribe